Hey, get out of there! Hey, said no! Get out of there! Five mistakes we make when scolding our dog. Want to know what they are? Watch the video! Hello lovelies, how's it going? I'm Ricardo from Forever Dog Channel and today's video is about five mistakes when we scold our dogs. It's important to correct our dogs and call their attention, but it's crucial to know how. So don't miss this video. Also reminding you guys of this Sunday, October 25th at 9 p.m. Spain time. I'm one hour earlier in Canaries. What's happening? What's going to happen? Yes, you know already. We'll be live again. Topic on YouTube community you can view. So, you know, don't forget. See you Sunday. And don't forget to follow me on social media, on Instagram and Facebook. And now let's see the first mistake we make when disciplining our dogs. Want to see it? Let's go. The most common mistake when scolding our dogs is poor timing. For instance, if they already did something like rolled in a dead animal and I scold them now, they won't understand why. Or when we come home and find something's broken and the dog's laying down, we come in and saying, look, who did this? And the dog's just like, and then we see them every time they did something, thinking the dog knows. No, it doesn't. What it knows is you came home with a mad face and it's like, uh-oh, they're not in a good mood. It's upset, but it doesn't know why you're scolding it. Don't discipline a dog after the moment's passed. Even if it was a minute ago, the dog can't connect why you're doing it. To correct your dogs, catch them right when they're doing it. Meaning, when they're in the act. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. What do we get? The dog doesn't trust us, it stresses them out. They get scared of our presence. So remember, don't correct them too late. On to the second point. Look what you've done. How could you? Bad boy, I don't want you here. Get out. Go, go. Go. Overcorrecting our a dog's is terrible. Excessive corrections are the worst thing we can do because dogs don't understand that. I've often seen owners correct their dog in public, spending a whole minute saying no, 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 and the dog's already stopped. I told you no, I told you no. Why do you do that? And the dog's just looking like when the dog looks at you or lowers its ears or makes that face or often lays belly up, the dog's got it. It's told you. I get it. I got that. Don't keep yelling because they're not really saying stop yelling. They're really saying, I don't get you. What else do you want? Meaning, I don't get you at all and you're stressing me out. You're making me nervous. Look, it happens to us humans when we make a mistake and someone overcorrects us. We want to say, I got it. Like, I already apologized. What else do you want? What else do you want? Why do we have to do that to our dog? Know why this mistake often happens? Because we let things slide. We let the dog do, 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 and say, poor thing, poor thing, until we get annoyed and correct out of anger. That's why I say, don't wait till you're annoyed. When a dog misbehaves, correct them immediately with no, and the dog gets it, and that's it. I don't wait for my dog to make the same mistake 20 times before correcting, because poor thing, I'll let them off this time. No, if I don't want them to do it, I say no, and that's it. So I correct quickly. I'm not mad, because first time I say no. Don't overcorrect. It stresses your dogs out, really. You may lose their trust. Got it? Let's get to the third point. Who peed here? Come here. Rubbing their nose in pee or poop, puppy or adult. Doesn't work at all. Seriously harms dogs. Stop scolding when you don't catch them in the act. Dogs that pee and poop, if a puppy, they're learning, be patient. I've said this in a video, and I think in a life. Wanted a puppy? You got it. These are the things a puppy brings. Be very patient as they learn. If you didn't catch it, don't scold and never rub their nose in it. Why? You'll just make them eat their poop out of fear or start hiding. Again, scolding like this breaks trust, which is crucial. 
o empiece a hacerlo escondidas. Y encima, vuelvo a repetir, ese, ese regañar de esa manera a nuestro perro, rompemos el lazo de confianza, que es importantísimo. Animals need to trust us. Dogs need this bond. Don't break it with misplaced, untimely or confusing scolding. Confían en nosotros. No rompamos ese vínculo con correcciones fuera de lugar, a destiempo o totalmente inadecuadas y que el perro no logra entender. To end this point, we can think, we can reason, animals can't. So don't demand something they can't grasp. Los animales no tienen esa capacidad, así que no le exijamos algo que ellos no pueden entender. Clear? ¿Queda claro? Now, Ahora let's sí, move on to the fourth point. Cuarto punto a tener en cuenta. Who did that? ¿Quién ha hecho eso? Oh, oh baby, no, come here, come, come, come. You're a good boy, not my love, come, come, come. Consistency, folks. Be consistent when working with our dogs. When educating, consistency is key. Because consistency means balance. I often see people correct their dog. The dog understands and stops right away. Oh, no, darling, poor thing, don't worry. No, no should be done this way. Because these animals won't get it. Because we start feeling bad. And hey, one important thing. We lose the dog's respect. We lose dog's respect when we do that. And we confuse them big time. If I correct my dogs and say, get out of here. And the dog stays calm. I just carry on. Or keep doing my stuff calmly. I'm not going to pet him. Why? Because I've corrected him, demanded respect. Whatever he's done, my space or whatever. And the dog gets it and I turn around and keep up with my world. Go back to my things. The dog respects me. He's not confused, knows what he did was wrong, and that's it. There's nothing else to do. I don't talk to him anymore or pet him or anything. I'm consistent with how I behave. If I pet, I purely pet. If I ask for respect, he has to respect me. Tiene que darme respeto. And I can't lower the standard cause, it respects me. Oh, excuse me, and apologize for raising my voice. No, I just say, hey, and it's over. That's consistency, that's balance, that's dog language, nature's language. And not our language, sorry, our language. We're losing that connection with nature, and thus we're confusing dogs. And hey, one important thing, we're also confusing ourselves, because every day we have more issues. So remember, consistency is crucial when scolding your dogs. And now let's move on to the fifth point. Who did that? Hold it. Good job, love. Rewarding at a wrong time is a mistake we make when scolding our dogs. Positive reinforcement is trendy, but we apply it wrong. As I said, working positively isn't bad if we want inappropriate behavior from the dog. Like asking for a sit, a plats, a fuzz, which is unnatural for them. But correcting, saying enough is natural for them because they do it in their world. They correct, they set limits. So I don't need to reward for that. We also reward at the wrong time. Quick example, the dog is barking, barking, barking. We say, quiet, 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 20 times. The dog, ah, 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 sit, sit, sit. And when the dog sits in tension, we reward. What did we reward? 20 corrections or obedience after the 20th time. Plus, in this tense state, yes, yeah, sausage. Because it sat. It was told to reward when it calms down, but no, the dog did. And you're rewarding. You scolded it, creating a loop. The dog will learn to get its way and will keep doing it, whatever it is. We should never reward a dog after a correction. Looks nice. I always say it's pretty, but it's not effective. It's not logical for dogs, it's not balanced in nature, doesn't fit. Animals don't lick each other after correcting one another. Nor does the mom lick the pup after growling at it. Because it's getting on her nerves. The mom corrects the pup, the pup steps away, and the mom just lays down calmly, not saying, lick him, poor pup. Come, come, get milk. No, she doesn't say that. We do that if we mess up big time. That's why we confuse dogs, not to reward them after scolding. Why? Because we confuse the dog and reinforce the wrong act the dog did. Reinforce the behavior we didn't want, so you know now, folks. And now, if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, share this video on social media. And the best advice I can give, let nature guide you. See you next video, folks.